Over the weekend, the U.S. Senate approved President Biden's $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief bill, which includes those $1,400 stimulus checks to most Americans. Plus, Hawaii is expected to receive at least $6 billion. So what does that include? Joining us this morning is Hawaii Senator Brian Schatz. Good morning, Senator. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing excellent. Now, first off, what kind of benefits can Hawaii residents expect to receive from this nearly $2 trillion bill? Well, this is the second biggest rescue package in American history, so there's a lot in it. Uh, first of all, the $1,400 checks. Second of all, uh, we were facing the expiration of the unemployment insurance uh, on March 15th. That has now been extended to September 6th. There's money for vaccines. There's money uh, to prevent people from uh, losing their, uh, their rental housing. Uh, and there's money to help open the schools and money for uh, UH as well. Uh, finally, there's money for uh, the state government itself to prevent furloughs and layoffs. So this is a big bill. It's something I'm really proud that we were able to deliver after 26 hours on the Senate floor. Yeah, it got done late Saturday night, so hopefully you got some rest there. Um, public schools hoping to get kids back into school for in-person learning to start the fourth quarter, which is later this month. What's your message to parents? Well, all last year, uh, a lot of us were saying, let's follow the science and let's rely on our experts. Uh, the experts have come out uh, in the last couple of weeks and changed their recommendation. The CDC is now saying, uh, that we can open schools in places like Hawaii where we have low COVID rates. And maybe more importantly than the CDC uh, is our own state epidemiologist uh, wrote a long letter, a detailed letter saying that in the net, it is safer for your child to be in school than not in school. And I understand the anxiety that people are feeling, teachers, uh, parents, students, uh, other people who work at schools, uh, but we have to understand we have low COVID rates. Uh, we understand a lot more about how this thing is uh, transmitted. And when kids are in a supervised environment, it is more safe for them. So I think we can do this. And everybody understands, every parent, every teacher, um, every student understands that online learning is not as good uh, as in-person learning. Now, with so many local residents unemployed, and you touched upon this earlier, how much will this bill help with the extension of unemployment benefits, which is set to expire on March 15th, like you said? So the, the House is supposed to take this bill up tomorrow evening, and we anticipate that the president would sign it either tomorrow evening or on Wednesday. So that avoids what they were calling the unemployment cliff, which would have meant that the expanded unemployment insurance benefits would have just stopped on March 15th. Now we have an extension all the way to September 6th. And, you know, Hawaii's had a had an especially tough time economically, uh, certainly among the top two or three states in terms of the economic impact because of our reliance on tourism. We've done great in terms of uh, reducing the number of cases and, and hospitalizations and deaths. Uh, but the trade-off there is that if you look at Waikiki, it's mostly closed. Uh, and so lots and lots of people uh, are going to be unemployed until we can get uh, a little bit more of our tourism economy uh, back up and running. There you have it, Hawaii Senator Brian Schatz. Of course, the bill goes now back to the House. They'll start debating as soon as tomorrow, and then hopefully the president's desk and signed off by March 14th so we can get those unemployment benefits going to those in need. All right, thank you very much, Senator. You have a great day. Thank you.